I'm Ian McCollum for Weapon Trivia Wednesday on Breach Bang Clear, and today we're taking a quick look at a gun designed to kill Filipinos. You may have heard of the story of how after the Filipino insurrection the US government discovered that those little 38 caliber revolvers just really didn't do the trick and they needed to go back to 45. And well, this eventually led to the requirement for a 45 caliber cartridge for the military's first semi-auto pistol, which would become the 1911. And uh, you may have heard that they actually brought back the 45 caliber revolver, the 45 Colt, to take care of these Filipino Moro fighters. Well, it wasn't actually the single action army that they brought back. Now, some officers certainly did go out and and find their old single action armies and dust them off and bring them back into the service. But what the military actually bought were these Model 1902 Colt revolvers. This was uh, first introduced as the Colt 1878, the Frontier model or the, the double action army model. They made them in pretty much every caliber out there from 3220 up to 476 Ely. But in particular they made them in 45 Colt. The army tested these in 1879 and decided they just weren't really all that good. Uh, they didn't always set off primers was the main problem. So the army went, or the Colt company went in when they realized that there was a potential market for these in the Philippines by 1902, and they fixed that problem by putting in a bigger spring in the hammer, give it more power, strike the primer, and set it off properly. Well, the problem was that made for a really heavy trigger pull. So to fix that, they made the trigger longer so you could get more leverage on it. Well, the problem was then the trigger didn't fit in the trigger guard, so they fixed that by making this really big, kind of goofy looking trigger guard to go with a nice bird handle on the revolver. That became the Philippine model of 1902, and the US government bought 4600 of these for the Philippine Constabulary Corps. And uh, this was the gun that they specifically purchased in 45 to deal with those Filipinos. Now this became known in common parlance on the civilian market sometimes as the Alaskan model, based on the idea that this big trigger guard was for uh, shooting in the cold while wearing gloves. But that's not where it originally came from. Originally, it came from the Philippines. Thanks for watching, hopefully you learned something interesting today.